today 18 of Lent. My name is Mac McGee. I'm one of the deacons here at Grace Church Cathedral. A deacon is someone who tries to get people out of the pew and into the community, volunteering in different organizations. We call it outreach. And I, um, I am glad to be here with you today this day. The symbol is the robe. And the robe has it to do with what we're going to read today from the Gospel of Luke. It's from the 15th chapter and it has it has been called the prodigal son. So it, the robe represents the prodigal son. And I will read this to you right now. Jesus said a certain man had two sons. The younger son said to the father, Father, give me my share of inheritance. Then the father divided his estate between them. Soon afterward, the younger son gathered everything together and took a trip to a land far away. There he wasted his wealth through extravagant living. When he had used up his resources, a severe food shortage arose in the country, and he began to be in need. He hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him into the fields to feed the pigs. He longed to eat his fill from what he, the pigs ate, but no one gave him anything to eat. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have more than enough food? But I'm starving to death. I will get up and go to my father and to say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I, am no lo I no longer deserve to be called your son. Take me as one of your hired hands. So he got up and went to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was moved with compassion. His father ran to him and hugged him and kissed him. Then his son said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quickly, bring out the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his fin finger and sandals on his feet. Fetch the fatted calf and slaughter it. We must celebrate with feasting, because this son of mine was dead and has come back to life. He was lost and is found. And they began to celebrate. Now his older brother was in the field. Coming in from the field, he approached the house and he heard the music and the dancing. He called to one of his servants and asked what was going on. The servant replied, Your brother has arrived and your father has slaughtered the fatted calf because he received his son's back safe and sound. Then the older son was furious and did not want to enter in, but his father came out and begged him. He answered his father, look, I've served you all these years and I've never disobeyed your instruction. You have never given me as much as a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours returns, after gobbling up your estate on prostitutes, you slaughter the fatted calf for him. Then his father said, Son, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad, because this brother of yours was dead and is alive. He was lost and is found. Let's pray. Let us pray. God of mercy, you made us to love you and your creation. You made us in love and to love our neighbors as ourselves. Guide us through the 40 days of Lent and bring us closer to you with prayer, fasting, and giving. Amen. And just a quick comment about the prodigal son. As you heard in the story, the youngest son went off. He wasted all his money. And when he came back to his father, he came back humbled. 
He came back just asking to be accepted. And the Father took him back and loved him, not because he'd done anything right or wrong, but because of his love for his son. And sometimes as bystanders, when we watch this kind of uh, unconditional love being given up, we get jealous. And that's what you see with the older brother. He struggled with that. We don't know whatever happened with the older brother, but we can only hope and pray that the older brother one day forgave his younger brother too. And it's called reconciliation, to be reconciled. Maybe you have a friend that you have not gotten along with or had a fight with. And this might be a, a wonderful opportunity this day to call them or contact them and try to become friends again. Thank you.